Severe environmental and social events are multiplying. Just look at this past summer. Dramatic floods in Northern Europe, wildfires in Greece and Turkey, severe drought in California. Moreover, the COVID-19 pandemic has revealed some profound inequalities. Many investors have become increasingly aware of the role that their capital could and should play in addressing environmental and social concerns. But the challenge has always been to combine the twin goals of doing good and earning a return in a single investment. Impact Investing seeks to do this. It provides a credible and scalable pathway to balancing a targeted, measurable, and beneficial environmental and or social impact on the one hand with a financial return potential on the other. Where investors previously thought only in terms of risk and reward, they can now add a third dimension of oversight to their portfolios, impact. As a result, impact investing has transitioned from a niche investment approach into a significant and expanding market segment. It is among the fastest growing asset classes today. Whether via public or private instruments, investors can now gain exposure through fixed income, equities, real estate, infrastructure, and other real assets such as private equity and venture capital investment vehicles. The ability of investors to invest along the whole value chain and in multiple positions within the capital structure will be key to finance the ever-growing need for impact investments. Indeed, the future growth trajectory of impact investing depends on the industry demonstrating where these investments are being directed and why, and how the impact can be measured and monitored, as well as reported. Consensus has emerged that impact investments should contribute to at least one and probably several of the 17 Sustainable Development Goals, or SDGs. But the industry is coming up with standards. For example, the Global Impact Investing Network, or the GIN, has outlined several requirements. As such, there must be a dedicated intention to achieve a clearly defined impact. The positive effect from the investment must be demonstrated. If the desired impact is to be fully or partially achieved, this must be measured by a clearly defined set of performance indicators. Last but not least, the impact must be reported periodically, regularly, and transparently. An increasing number of private market participants are developing initiatives around minimum requirements and identifying best practices and audit processes for impact projects and investments, including the operating principles for impact management convened by the IFC. Investment starts with the trust of investors into their managers. Raising the bar on transparency and reporting can help the industry deliver on its promise and insulate itself from accusations of impact washing, where funds make claims that are not substantiated by any relevant and demonstrable positive impact. In addition, monitoring the progress of investments in achieving impact against expectations enables improvements to impact decision-making and delivery.